Hello, good evening. My name is Bimbo and welcome to Jackpot with your days. This channel is all about providing you information so now you can jackpot to Portugal, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where you where we believe that you are going to have a beautiful European experience. Among the information that we also provide on this channel is the lifestyles in Portugal where we reside and lifestyles in terms of um, um, our, our experience, our personal experience in Portugal. So this information is particularly relevant to be able to make your integration into Portugal to be very, very easy. So if you are just following us or just seeing this channel, like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring you opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notifications. So what do we want to talk about today? We want to talk about exchanging your driver license in Portugal. Yes, it's among the lifestyles on how you can, you know, easily integrate in Portugal. At so one point or the other, either you are a family man or driving is a very important uh, tool that you need to be able to move around in Portugal. You need to have a driver license. It's a crime to drive without a driver license in Portugal. So, um, so exchanging your driver license is very important. So what does that mean? If you already have a driver license in your country, there's a procedure called international driver license exchange in portugal so you can easily exchange your driver license with your uh with uh i mean drop your driver license from your country and use it to get a portuguese driver license now this information that i want to provide today is it cut across all countries that is among the bilateral agreement for exchanging driver license in in in, in portugal what does that mean you need to this information, like I said, is, 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 is very important and essential to all countries. So you now need to check if your country is among the list of the country that has a bilateral agreement to exchange driver license in Portugal. That is when this information is relevant to you. Yes. So if your country is among the list of driver license, the first document, I mean, I've seen a, a, an Iran person exchange driver license here portuguese sorry uh, a german a german guy a colleague a phd colleague german turkey usa and about three to four nigerians have exchanged driver license here in portugal so which means uh, the information is is the same thing now and uh, so that is why i'm going to be using an example of the procedure as a nigerian to explain what you need to do the document and all, everything you need to get to exchange your driver license here in Portugal. Now, the first document that you need to get is certificate of authenticity. That is the first document. What does that mean? You need to get your document to your country and get it to the body or the company or the organization that is responsible for issuing driver license in your country. In Nigeria, it is called Federal Road Safety Corps or corporations. You know whatever they call but it's usually called federal road safety corps they are the body in charge of issuing driver license so you get your driver license to uh, a staff of that organization to issue a certificate stating that that driver license is valid and authentic in nigeria make sure you send your address here in portugal to the bank to them so that they will write the letter with uh, issuing, I mean, they will issue the letter to your address here in Portugal. It is very, very important. Let them issue the letter to your address here in Portugal. Now, the letter looks something like this. Now, when they issue you the certificate of authenticity from that uh, Federal Road Safety Corp or whatever the name they call it in your country, you also take it to Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country. To, for them to stamp and you know uh, uh, authorize the document. When you are done there, you also take the document to I court in your country. I court our own I court is in Abuja. You take the document also to I court in Abuja for a court to also validate or authentic or, 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 or I mean provide uh, a stamp on the document stating that it is authentic. When you are done with that, you get the document shipped to you via. DHL or UPS shipped to your address here in Portugal. Now, in Portugal, these are other documents that you need to have. You need to go to any recommended um, places where they sell eyeglasses. You know, any recommended places. We have very many of them. So you can go to any one of them 
Tell them you want to exchange, you want to do eye tests so that you'll be able to exchange your driver license here in Portugal. Once you tell them that they know what to do, so they will do several things to for uh, with you, with your eyes, ask you to see many. They will do a lot of things with you to test the the, the strengths and the visual, the 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 the, 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 the vision. The, they will test your eyes to to see the strength, the capability to be able to see for to be able to see far and all, 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 all I mean, a host of other things, and they will assess you. They will give you a letter and tell you that. Don't open this letter. Take this letter to a doctor to issue you a medical report. A, med a medical report. Now, so which means certificate of authenticity, uh, if a, a, a an high test letter, a medical report. So high test letter, you take it to a family doctor, for instance. If you have a family doctor, if you don't have a family doctor, take the letter to any private hospital. Any doctor in a private hospital will do other evaluations and you know ensure that uh, you are mentally stable to drive. Your vision is fine based on your test eye test report and you know they will also issue you a letter and it looks like this now when you are done with that so uh, certificate of authenticity first document eye test letter second document third document is the medical report issued to you by a doctor when you are with, with that you also need um, 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 you with that you will also need uh, your driver license to be able to submit this application, these are the documents you need. You also need your driver license scan, you know, have a scan copy, your driver license scan, have a proof of address. We, we call it Junta de Fregresia. Have a proof of address. Then your residence card is another document that you also need to submit. Then, depending on your status in Portugal, that is what we determine if IMT will request that you submit other document. What I, what do I mean by status? If you are if you come into Portugal with a student visa, it's different from somebody that come in with a family unification visa, with a uh, work visa, among other visa. For instance, when I was going through the, I mean, I, when I was helping my wife to exchange a driver license, the IMT after two weeks they sent us an email requesting that we submit a letter from the tax office showing our address here in Portugal. I mean, or proving our address here in Portugal. So we had to go to the tax office to get all of that document. Now, I observed that these documents were not requested from people that have seen pass through this procedure. So that's why I said it depends on your status here in Portugal. That is what we determine other documents that they might ask you to submit. So certificate of authenticity, um, uh, eye test report, uh, medical report from a doctor, residence card, driver license, proof of address, which is called Junta de Fregesia. And if they want, or if you have it, you can submit a letter stating uh, your uh, your address here in Portugal. It's usually called um, Cidadão in, in Portuguese, Cidadão. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it very well, but it's a letter issued by the tax office stating your address based on your NIF. So when you're done with that, you go to this website and you submit your application. Then within three to one month, they will get back to you if they need other document. If they don't need any other document, they will tell you your application has been accepted and recorded on their site. And you can go to the nearest IMT office to do your capturing. When you go there with 30 euro or thereabouts, they will charge you. Usually in Porto and Lisbon, you go with an appointment. You book an appointment, but other cities, you don't really need an appointment, but it's always advised that you go or uh, any government agency with an appointment. So you go do your capturing. When you do your capturing, they will issue you a temporary document that is valid for about five to six months that enables you to be able to drive here in Portugal. That document, that letter is equivalent to a driver license card. So with that letter, you can drive here in Portugal. So within that six to five months, they will send you your driver license. If after five to six months, if they don't send you your driver license, they will tell you that you can come back to renew that letter so that you can continue to drive while they are still processing your card. But usually within three to four months or within that five to six months of that letter, they will usually process your driver license and you can get your driver license here to drive. So that is the opportunity that we want to 
uh, bring our way so that it will also assist our integration if you have made it this far like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this you will be the first to get notification follow us on all our social media share this information to your friends loved ones and thank you very very much once again for listening bye bye for now